All right, guys, I'm here with coach Adam, um, manager of the under-12s. So, Adam, could you give us the result and the performance overall, please? Yeah, um, the score was 7-1. Uh, Hussain scored two, uh, Assad scored four, and Hamza Kara got on the score sheet again as well. One goal. Um, overall, a very good performance. Um, played the ball about uh, two or three very, very good goals. Uh, good build-up play, good finishes. Um, Kiz, uh, players like Kiza Isa stepped out today, really good on the football in the midfield, uh, linking the play between the defence and the attack, so a lot of good positives. Uh, but still a lot to work on, still can be a lot more patient on the ball. Um, a lot of the stuff seems to, they, they w seem to want to do everything like first time. So it's maybe about taking a touch, being a lot more patient in possession and waiting for the sort of gaps to open up to expose the opposition. Overall, a very good day, good result. Um, can't really have too many complaints. Nice one, thank you. With Coach Ethan of the Intense. Coach Ethan, do you mind taking us through your game, please? Yeah, we won 5 3. Uh, on got a hat trick. Jean got one and Ines got one, I think. Yeah. So uh, the scoreline doesn't reflect the performance. Uh, the, honestly, it was almost perfect. Everything everything ticked well, everything went right. Really, really nice football. Um, I think the goals were unlucky. They were, they were silly goals to concede anyway. We could have had a lot, lot more. Uh, I think one of the things is like six shots literally popping off, popping off, popping off, and it was like they were unlucky to go in. But um, I think individually, a lot of the bad habits that we had have been cleaned up. Um, they're not doing first, first hand stuff anymore. It took me one or two times to just remind them. After that, everything ticked perfectly. Um, the passing was clean. They finally learned that it's okay to pass backwards, it's okay to pass sideways. Everything doesn't have to go forwards. And um, I just think just little things to clean up on, like when to cut in when to go to the line. Not everything has to be the same thing every single time. You have to switch it up. You have to move. You have to find your own spaces. No one's going to do it for you. Um, I think coming up against better position, if we play like that, there's not a team that's going to beat us. And yeah, I just think indiv individually, um, for every single player, I think they just need to toughen up a little bit. Um, when they come up, uh, up against bigger boys, as soon as they see someone coming towards them, they back off a bit, which is, I don't know why they do it, but they just got to toughen up and just learn to use their bodies in a way that protects the ball and protects them as well. But yeah, other than that, everyone give yourself a pat on the back because everyone played very, very well. Brilliant, thanks for that. Coaches Oli and Pele of the N9s. Lads, you want to take us through your game, please? Yeah, so we played Pro Star, uh, lost 3 2. Uh, our goals were scored by, uh, both were scored by Rifan. Uh, all in all, the performance, um, it was a bit scrappy, um, there were glimpses, that we, we did well to come back uh, twice from uh, losing positions and um, and the, the positive about today is that the boys didn't you know, get, you know, put their heads down and they kept going, they kept trying. Um, on another day we could have got a draw, um, so there are glimpses of positives, obviously we have to work on things like, you know, passing and moving, attacking wise, uh, movement off the ball. Uh, players up front in midfield need to do better, like pass and move, um, move into space, um, but something we still have to work on. But all, all in all, slightly better performance, but a lot to work on. Yeah, I mean, based on last week, fair using that first half as our benchmark, it wasn't as good as you'd say. But you know, the main thing is the whole game they kept playing, they kept trying, and you can't fault them for that. Uh, mainly, we've got to start working on this. It's generally, it's once we get that ball, what's what we're doing with it? You know, make sure we're looking up, make sure we're running, we're running into space or just not running into traffic. And just chances in general, we had quite a few chances that we could have scored. So that's what we've got to be working on. But it's positive. I mean, we've seen a change in attitude after the, after the rally can they got from Rudy on Tuesday. And let's hope, they, let's hope it continues. Yeah, thank you, boys. Here with Coach Aswa of the under eights. Hello. Aswa, you want to take us through your game, please? <laughs> well, we played the uh, Kissold Rangers. They showed up about 10 minutes late, I think. We won the game 3 2. Uh, Nia scored two goals. First, or second, second female player played faster than seven. And she scored two goals. Brilliant performance, uh, in my opinion, man of the match. Um, 
also woman. woman of the match. Sorry, woman. Woman of the match. Score was Abdul Rahman. Um, so before before the game, I was just getting him to uh, basically beat their man and uh, shoot into the corners of the goal. I think all three goals came from that. Um, they, they beat their man, shot into the corner, and we scored. It was it was a very simple game plan. I thought at times throughout the game, we were very very shaky. Um, literally players just walking back, like they lose the ball and then they walk back or they're jogging back where really they should be sprinting. So I feel like the, the players themselves need to give a bit more commitment. Overall, the performance was very good. There's a lot of improvement still. Uh, second half, we could have lost the game easily. The opposition hit the post about three, four times, as did we. Uh, it could have gone both ways, but I feel we did deserve the victory. In terms of performance, there's still a lot to work on. But overall, it's a good sign. I think it will do the underrates a good bit of confidence now that we've got a victory in the Red League. And hopefully, on to next week. Just keep winning. Brilliant. Oh, no, I need to introduce you. Oh, oh. <laughs> here with <laughs> here with Coach Mo and Coach Rudy. Summarize the day for us, please. Go for it, Mo. Um, I'm going to start off with my number seven. Uh, we didn't have a game. Um, I don't. I don't want to talk too much. If I speak, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so um, we started off with under tens for a very good performance. Um, Footballing wise, brilliant. Um, it's like last week never happened. A very strong squad. Um, we need to add a few players. Um, so we're still looking. Um, but very, very good start to the day. Uh, we then went on to obviously under sevens, under nines at the same time. Uh, I think under nines lost out uh, because of a few missed chance, uh, chances. But again, um, it's good that they scored a couple of goals. Um, I think a few defensive errors cost them, but um, work in progress. Again, we need to make a few additions because I feel um, the same players being picked every single week isn't helping the attitude um, and it's an attitude which needs to be uh, rectified. So that's something we need to look into. Uh, we went on to the under eights and again, um, I thought I don't think the performance was as good as last week from coming from some of the coaches. But obviously it's very, very important to get that W, first W of the season. Uh, first win of 2018 for Coach Aswa, which is very, very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, well done, Coach Aswa. Um, yeah, had a lucky charm on the side. So, oh, I helped you. Um, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeez, <laughs> okay. Yeah, he had a lucky charm. So lucky? Definitely, yeah, apparently, yeah. yeah. So, ah, Kapulkia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's there every week, then that's it. Listen. You know, you should not lose it anymore. That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, obviously it's upsetting that under seven is in place. The second time it's happened, where we've turned up and the opposition haven't, haven't turned up. It was London Apsa, so as we know, it's a derby day. Derby, not derby. Um, <laughs> Ain't not derby. Um, obviously, Dirty. as you lot all know, we picked Umar and Musa from our tech talk. So Umar's four and Musa's five, and they were ready to make the debut. So obviously it's very, very upsetting for us that they didn't get a chance to play or even watch the watch their team play. Um, very, very disappointing. Um, we spoke to the league and we got a reaction that we expected. Um, I think we got blamed for the opposition not turning up, hmm. which is typical. Um, but yeah, very, very upsetting. We've got some big fixtures coming up for the under sevens as well. And we wanted to get some good prep um, done before we, we hit those games. And having played on and off for the last six weeks is not good enough. Uh, we need them to, to get some game time because once they have a bit of form, they're having time off again. And it's not, it's not, it's not good prep. Yeah, I think just summing up from what was more so, we talked about the close, 1 7 1, whatever it was, uh, against a good globe side. I said, game, not four goals. I think they did well. Um, I don't think the performance is there yet. Coach Adam is back. That always helps. Coach Adam is, he will tell you exactly how it is. He wasn't there to see it, so I'm sure his blog will tell us exactly what was good and what was bad. But 7 1 looks good. Same as 17 0. But I know Coach Adam don't mess around. If, he, if the performance is up to scratch, he don't give a shit. Yeah, he don't give a crap about the result. Um, you can tell I've been heated all day. I've got the swear words. La, 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 la. They'll come out. So if I swear, I apologize. Um, and the 14s got a 3 0 forfeit. So you can imagine that we were frustrated already with the 7th. Made our way to another 14th game. And then 
the opposition didn't show up. Well, they did show up. They decided to come late or something. And it was Elite Pro. So you come on my camera on vlog. You tell me about your new players. And then you don't show up to the game. Can't swear. It's a can't swear. Can't swear. But we'll take the 3-0. Those, listen, in the long run, in come May, we, we may need those three points to win the league. So we're still undefeated. We've still got 100% record. We're still top of the league. Another three goals to add to our tally. We're taking it. Uh, I don't mind so much on the 14s. I don't mind when it's on the 7s, 8s, 9s, 10s. Because they're young kids coming over here. What they want to do is play football. And what we want to do is watch them play football. And when you have nonsense like that. Um, yeah, of course the league is part of the name. It is a misunderstanding. We understand misunderstandings. Things happen. But it shouldn't. That, that's, that's facts. Um, there should be no scope for misunderstandings at this level. Um, but to be fair, I felt there was some there was some reconciliation when speaking to the league chairman. Um, the chairman of the league is good. He's sound. He's, he's, a, he's an East End boy through and through. He don't talk. He talks on a level. Um, he's explained that it was a misunderstanding. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, he's right. I don't think the league sets out to cancel games. That's not what. They, that's not. I don't think that's not what anyone does. Um, it was a little bit out of control, but I just think they could have managed it a little bit better. Um, and he knows that we made ourselves pretty clear. I think they made themselves quite clear as well. Um, I think we should just talk to the chairman instead of talking to the guy who sits in the room and don't know what's happening. That's, that's, that's a fact. <laughs> so we've learned our lesson there. Um, I can't promise that it won't happen again because it seems like it's an issue with the teams and not the league. So, look, if you don't want to play football, go away. Leave, let us be here. We don't mind playing the same team over and over again. There's just two teams in the league. We'll play every single week. We just want to play football. Because these nonsense teams and nonsense organisations, nonsense, all the farce, all the joke. Just stop playing the game. You're ruining our game. It's a it's joke now. So I'm looking at everyone who's watching this directly who thinks that they can just up and make a team and do what they want and charge free for the session and think they're called coaches. And you're not. You're not. Just get over it. You're not coaches. You're not teams. You're, your players are not players. I don't care if they're six or seven years old. Just give the goddamn thing up. If they want a team, them to come over to us. We'll look after them. We show them what professional setup is. We don't need goddamn professional setup in the whole of East London. Yeah, I said it. So what? I don't care if people don't like it. Yeah? End of, end of discussion. We go out of our way to get coaches qualified. We go out of our way to get players up to scratch. We go out of our way to make it competitive in training, to make it competitive two times a week, three times a week. We do individual sessions. We, we have classroom sessions. What are we doing all that for? We're playing against some cover bro. Some, 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 some I said it. I've been waiting to get it out of my system anyway. Yeah, it's like all these nonsense. You know, someone like London Apps organization has been around for 20 goddamn years. 20 years later, they still don't know how to function. I don't need to speak about them. They, they, they'll tell Zook to his face. It's all a joke. Everybody's a joke out here. Yeah, so yeah, because we're here to play football. We're here to compete. If you want to compete against us, let's go. We don't mind. We don't mind competition. We don't mind losing. We don't mind having fun. We, let's do it. But don't come out here with all your nonsense. He's going to play. Yeah, yeah. I know a kid when I just, I'm just stoned him to start more. I'm more out of banks. I'm more out of banks. I'm more out of banks. I'm more out of just oh, one, one camera. No, just... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean, you understand? So, in terms of under eights, there's some positive light now. Naya, well done. Yeah, that's quality. I'm so, I'm, I said it before the game, I told her about, before all the madness started, I said, you're going to score today. And uh, she got herself two goals, which is good. Um, long may that continue. Under nine should definitely be looking at her because I think she might be a little bit. She might be a little bit to play now. Yeah. Um, so it could be a, something that could Kalisa and Nai in one team and that might actually work you know two girls coming into one team so you should be looking at that Nine results wise one far away so um, well done to them but today I think performance is, I'm not really I don't really care um, coaches are in the classroom tomorrow look at my mood I'm not messing around coaches are in, in the meeting tomorrow get your asses there don't because I'm done Done I More? No, other than that. <laughs> pretty good day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the weather was alright. Yeah. Well, my fingers are like cold, to be honest. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And as for that, congratulations. <laughs> um, apparently, most of the lucky charms are like, you know, no, it's, 
Yo, please. We'll see you next week in a much more positive vibe. Peace.